Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportside News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the next NHL trade deadline recap as we recap the Arizona Coyotes' moves as they made very good moves accumulating future assets as they, of course, are still a rebuilding team as they were able to accumulate future assets for multiple guys as let's get right into it. Uh, starting with going all the way back to February when they were able to acquire for Dezingle and Ilya Labushkin, one of the two, and Labushkin is still with the Toronto Maple Leafs, Dezingle's with the San Jose Sharks. Uh, they were able to get Nick Ritchie. The experiment did not work with Toronto, but he's a guy that's still only 26 years of age to bring into a rebuilding team. That makes sense. And get a 2025 second round pick as well. That is also conditional. Um, when it comes to future considerations for Carter Hudden, that's plenty to get for him because at this point he's kind of just at the end of it, the twilight of the end of his career and then to get a fourth round pick for Scott Wedgwood is very good when he's a guy that's been a journeyman his entire career that seemed to find a footing the last couple of years being able to get himself going at the NHL level and then have really good success when he went down to Arizona this year now he gets to add more stability with Ottinger and uh, Braden Holpe in net when it comes to when everyone's healthy of course when it comes to the Dallas Stars so getting a fourth round pick uh, for him, very good for the Arizona Coyotes. And getting a second round, or trading a second round pick for Jack McBain was an incredibly smart move. McBain's a good big skater, very good brute force ability to get to the net, can also shoot the puck well from BC. That plays a really good game to mix in with some of the already quick guys they have in their system down there in Arizona. <coughs> I think, excuse me, Jack, like Matthias McKelly, for example, that flies on the ice. Um, even Garcon um, is a good skater. Lawson Krause is obviously an all-around great player that they decided to keep. Barrett Hayden's going to continue to get better, and he's a good skater, um, underrated skater, honestly, in my eyes. Um, and then also, Nick Ritchie's not the best skater, but you don't need all of those guys mixed in. So I think somebody like Ritchie definitely is going to fit in well with that team, as well as Jack McBain, who needs to maybe continue to work on his skating more, but he's already has all the tools to be a good two-way player and use his size and body well and be a nice net front presence. And the Coyotes, that's a perfect move for them, trading a second-round pick for a guy that was a third-round pick in the draft, but has definitely projected above that value at this point, and is a guy that I, I surprised the Yotes actually got him because I thought other teams that were a little bit more ahead might have been interested in a guy like Jack McBain to really fill in and play a great third or, or fourth line role even next year at some point. But uh, the Coyotes are able to get him, and I think he's definitely going to play that role for them next year because they're not going to have anybody else to do it. Uh, when it comes to uh, getting also, they were able to move Brian Little's uh, or get Brian Little's contract, excuse me, while also getting a center in Nathan Smith to add just more people into the team. So they had to move a 2022 fourth round pick for that, but that's okay because the Coyotes have literally a plethora of picks. And then being able to develop Johan Larson into what people thought, not what people thought he would be years ago because they thought he was going to be a top level talent and fit in the second round, but into a solid, productive, more consistent version of himself at the NHL, netted them a third round pick. So that has to be hats off to the Coyotes. And then future considerations for Riley Natch, I think, is plenty because Riley Natch at this point of his career is a good depth guy that has experience uh, with Columbus and other teams in runs. That is good to add to a playoff team, but is not really needed for a rebuilding team. So that trade made perfect sense. So to recap, Riley Natch for future considerations, perfect sense. 2020. To, or 2023 third round pick for Johan Larson. Obviously, you're going to do that trade. 2022 fourth round pick, they gave to Winnipeg for Little and also Nathan Smith, who might be able to play some for you as well. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how Nathan Smith's able to turn out and what if what he's able to do in the Arizona Coyotes uh, organization, obviously, when you have a lot more chances there. And then you also obviously got for Jack McBain. You traded a second round pick, and that's plenty of... Uh, Good for him. I think a second round pick is a very fair uh, trade for him. And then for Scott Wedger, they got a fourth. And for Carter Hutton, future considerations. And then also, when it came to Toronto, they got Nick Ritchie in a second from them for Dezingle and Labuchkin. So I think the Coyotes have definitely had a A-level offseason in terms of working towards clearly showing they're a rebuilding team and trying to bring in assets like Ritchie that they hope gets going in a change of scenery and bringing in the plethora of picks they have and a guy even like Nathan Smith, who they're going to see what he can do, where I can see what his uh, numbers are real quick before I exit out on this video, but they're going to see what somebody like him is able to do uh, 
in their system and see if he can have some success there. But let's see here. His numbers are... Do, 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 do. For Nathan Smith... His numbers at Minnesota State are... 49 points in 34 games this year, so he's having a fantastic season. Actually, he took a huge jump, because I remember paying attention to him last year and thinking he was a solid player at 25 and 28, really starting to take the step, was good in his freshman year, very good B-level talent. This year, he took the jump to being, just from his stats, being above that, where now we have to see how he continues to turn pro, where last year I would have ranked him more in that B-level. This year, he's definitely starting to tear up the B plus A minus, because I didn't even peep that he was doing 49 points in 34 games that's actually a fantastic that's even a better acquisition than I than I thought for Arizona I thought that was a good acquisition now I think it's a great acquisition because I didn't even realize he flourished that much this year compared to last season Nathan Smith so they got two guys that are young in Richie that might be able to rebound and return with them and Nathan Smith who's even younger three years younger at 23 so the two young guys plus the future considerations and picks perfect for a rebuilding team so they definitely get an a peace out everybody please continue to subscribe down below or up above in the easy to use which keeps trying to go in the 215 or more by the end of march we really appreciate your love and support this far